Good morning, class eight. Welcome to our model science class. Last day, we discussed about the rights and duties as family members and rights and duties as human beings and citizens of India. In which already we discussed about the fundamental rights which are provided by the Constitution of India. Today we will discuss the fundamental duties. What fundamental duties are given by the Constitution of India? So first fundamental duties is to abide by the Constitution of India and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and national anthem. Means we should give respect uh, we all should, uh, it is must to give respect to our national flag and to our national anthem as a citizen of India. Next is, next duty is to cherish and follow the noble ideas which inspired our national struggle for freedom. We all should cherish and we all should follow those noble ideals. And it is very important in this way we can show our respect towards our country. And uh, it is very important to cherish and to follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for the freedom. In this way, we can give respect to those all and uh, we can give respect. We can show our respect to our country also. Next fundamental duty is to uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India. We all should be ready for the protection of the unity of India. Because we all are living in our country, India, and the uh, protection of in, uh, unity of our country, it is our first duty. It should be our first duty. Uh, so that we should work for the unity and integrity of our country. Next fundamental duty is to defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so. Whenever we are getting the chance, whenever we will get this opportunity, we should work, we should work and we should defend the country. And whenever we should uh, we will get we, we will get the chance for it for the defending our country we should not um, deny this and we we should catch this opportunity next fundamental duty is to promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of india so we should promote this spirit, we should spread this spirit, which is spirit of the common brotherhood. Maybe they uh, they they may be of any uh, different caste. Then uh, they may be follow of different religion, different languages. They can speak, but we should spread the harmony and we should spread the spirit of the common brotherhood, because we all are Indian. So this should be our first religion, Indian. We all are Indian and this should be our first religion. Next is to value and preserve the rich heritage of our composite culture. You all know that we are living in very big country and in this country, um, in different areas, in different states, we are following the different culture, different languages, and we should give respect to uh, the culture of each other. And also we should give value, we should preserve of this, uh, we should do the work or for the preservation of this culture. And we are living, we are living in uh, such type of country this country is rich of heritage so we should give the value and we should preserve this rich heritage next point to protect and improve the natural environment 
natural environment means what we should protect we should protect for forest we should protect our lakes rivers and wildlife these all uh, we should protect because these are natural environment we all depends upon it in any way we are depending maybe directly or maybe indirectly but we all are depending upon these natural environment so this is our duty we should protect this natural environment like forest our beautiful lakes rivers and wildlife we should always protect themselves next one next point is to develop the way this is our duty that we should develop the scientific temper humanism and spirit of inquiry and reform so this is our duty we should develop this type of uh, humanism and spirit of inquiry and reform if it is possible in any way we should develop these things next point to safeguard public property uh, means uh, if you are using any type of public property then like train bus or any type of public property which we are using that is not your private property so you should uh, protect these property this is uh, this this will be used by everyone this is for all the citizen of india so we should be a safeguard for public property next and last point is to strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement it means whatever you can do in all spheres of individual whatever you can do what is your duty you should fulfill it uh, with honesty and you can say that in uh, in which field you can do your work you should do your work with honesty okay whatever you can do for your country you should do so that your uh, your um, so that everyone can feel proud on you and they can feel proud on your country so as uh, as much as possible you should do for your country so um, so in all spheres you should give your um, complete uh, you can say complete uh, hard work and you can give uh, complete concentration towards your country which work you can do for the benefit of your country you should do so that the nation constantly rises to the higher level so children you should you need to become good future citizen of india you are the future of india so you need to be become a good future of the india so in this chapter what we have seen we have seen that uh, rights and duties these both things are going together they both will move together these are the these are the two sides of a coin and that's why uh, without performing your duties with honestly you cannot think about your right so uh, in today's chapter in chapter 17 we discussed about the rights and duties as a family member and as a citizen of india okay so rights and duties what you learn from this chapter right and duties always move together if you want to enjoy the rights you need to perform your duty it is must and we should fully aware about your rights okay uh, you should know what is your right as a citizen of india what is your right you should know about it but it is also important try to perform your duties as a family member and as a future citizen of india you should also perform your duty as well as okay now we will discuss the question answers of this chapter so the first question which is given in your book 
first question is how are right and duties how these both are related so rights and duties are closely related with each other as we discussed earlier also these are the two sides of the same coin without performing our duties we cannot expect for our rights so it is must the fulfillment of duty by each individual is a prerequisite for rights of all first you should perform your duty and then only you can expect for the uh, expect for your right next next question is question number 2 list your rights and duties as a member of the family so as a member of the uh, family your rights are first right to have equal importance in the family to get secure living in the family to get share in the family benefits and property and last one to get respect from the younger members of the family so as a family member these are your rights and what are your duties as a family member you should help the family member in times of need you should create a loving and peaceful environment you should also give respect to all elders you should work for the benefits of the family on a whole and you should fully devoted towards the family so along with your rights you should also fulfill your duties now question number 3 name the fundamental rights as written in the constitution of india which fundamental rights are given uh, uh, by the constitution of india you have to name them so first right is right to equality second is right to freedom third is right against exploitation fourth is right to freedom of religion fifth is cultural and educational right and last is right to constitutional remedies these all are the only name of the fundamental rights which are written in the constitution of india next question number 4 is list your four fundamental duties in last question we discussed about the fundamental rights and these here in this question we have to list the four fundamental duties as a future citizen of india so as a future citizen of india this is our first duty we must respect the national flag and national anthem this is very important and we all must respect the national flag and national anthem and second second one is we must protect the unity and integrity of india we all should work for the protection of unity and integrity of india as a future citizen of india third point what we should do as a future citizen of india we must follow the noble ideals as inspired our national struggle for freedom so as a future citizen of india you should always follow the noble ideals which inspired your national struggle for freedom and fourth one you should promote harmony and spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of india as a future citizen of india this is also your duty that you should work for the spirit of common brotherhood as a uh, among the people of india so in this video we discussed about the fundamental duties and also the question answers okay and uh, in our syllabus in this unit this was the last chapter so for this uh, Uh, ut for this uh, third ut you have to prepare the chapter number 14 chapter number 15 16 and 17 okay with chapters chapter number 14 chapter number 15 
chapter number 16 and 17. 14 means the real wealth of life. Chapter 15, the path of truth. Chapter 16, global Indians. And chapter 17, rights and duties. It means in this UT, this is the, this will be the last chapter. So these all chapters from chapter 14 to chapter 17, you have to prepare for third UT. Okay. So learn well for your UT, for your third UT. Have a very nice day. Thank you.